Good morning, this is Lord Gusen again. Today I'm doing a basic layout, the one that you can see here on the right. Uh, this is actually one of ours. We've got another company called uh, Bataki that uh, focuses more on event photography, videography and uh, some event organizing. So I'm just going to recreate this one um, in a basic way so that you can have an idea of, of how to do it. Especially how to create these round curves here on the sides. How to put in the photos, how to get that effect over there, how to use the type and we're going to do it in uh, Adobe InDesign. I'm just going to go ahead here, click on my little box tool over here, click and drag, I'm just going to create boxes quickly, so we have more or less the same layout. Just going to copy that and paste it, Control C, Control V, I can use the most of the programs as well. Just going to select those two, it's going to bring it down a little bit to a more appropriate size, like such. Let's say copy and paste. Paste again. And let's put another one in there. Like so. It's a little going over a little bit over the page, so I'm just going to select the rest of them as well. Hold down shift, just drag over them. And uh, get my finger off the shift button for once. And then just kind of move them into place. It's not going to be exactly because obviously I just want to show you how to get it done. Um, I've taken out our prices. This is a good place to kind of put in your pricing or uh, if you want to send something to your client like a price list or uh, uh, contact details or, or services or whatnot. I'm going to select the top one. Let's give it a full. Let's start off with that. I'm going to make it blue. I did that by going to my swatches palette over here. I'm going to make this one. Let's make it magenta. Why not? We can see the effects. Right, so we're going to click on the on the blue panel over here. And if you'll note that there's a little yellow block button thing here. If you hover over it, it's going to say click to edit corners. So we're just going to go, we're going to click on it, hold down our shift key, and then just click on the corner that you would like to change and drag it along the line. We're going to click on this one. Uh, we go to the yellow block. There we go. Hold down shift. Click and drag. Let's do this one as well. It's kind of nice, you know, just kind of break that square flat look when you look at the picture. So give it a little bit of, of feel. There we go. If you would like to add text, like here at the bottom, uh, select your text tool. You're going to have to draw a box, so you're going to click and drag. Click, drag text box, you can change um, your fonts and your sizes and all of that over here in your panel. So I'm just going to say here um, www.bataki.co.za info at bataki.co.za contact details uh, 0844040343 and any other detail you would like to put in there. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna do the same up here. Just click and drag. Let's call it um, corporate photography. Let's just make it white. I'm just gonna select that quickly. Clicking on it. Go over here. Make sure that you select it uh, on the full and not on the outline tool. So I'm just gonna click on that. And then you can do the same over here. Clicking on type tool. Let's just call it services one, two, three, etc. So you can put anything in here that you'd like to so make that white as well, just for now. White. Okay, dogs. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click over here. Move the bits. So I'm going to hit Control and D to insert my picture. I'm going to use. Uh, Mr. Lloyd Sele, one of my good friends. I'm just going to resize it. If you uh, click on these buttons over here, you'll note that um, 
it's going to change the size of your picture. So I've clicked on this one. I'm going to go down there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm, I want to create that effect over there. So one picture in four frames. So um, I selected this white little arrow over here. So I'm just going to grab the edges of my picture and just draw it so that it kind of covers all four squares like that. Move it a little bit so we can get a bit more. There we go. And then right click, say copy. Click on there, the next box, paste into, there we go, next box, right click, paste into. See, it's going to keep the photo exactly the same because we've resized it to do so. Paste into. And what you can do if you want to create a little bit of a vignette effect or a transparency effect like this, you can do that. So um, let's let's do those two blocks, these two. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that, right click, go down to my effects, transparency. Let's just make it 80 for the sake of the exercise. Right click, effects, transparency, and just another 80 should be fine. I think. Awesome stuff, it's so easy. Control D for the next picture. Let's bring this nice looking lady over here. Gonna move her a little bit so I have to select the white arrow. If I, if I use the, the, the black arrow over here, it's gonna move the entire block. And we don't want to do that because it's gonna mess uh, mess up our, uh, our layout. So uh, I have to click on the white arrow to be able to move what's ever inside the block. Quickly, here's one. Control D. Let's put in Mr. Jay Z. Sat at the same table that evening. I remember, it was weird. <laughs> uh, oh, another good friend of me, of mine, of me, mine. It's mine, my precious. you can put in anything you like and control D again and let's put in uh, oh yeah let's use my forklift why not this has actually been resized for another project so it's a little bit smaller but it should be fine for our tutorial purposes you will note this near uh, Oliver Tombo airport this photo over here it's on a billboard can't really miss it <laughs> And there we go. Um, we've recreated that page. I hope it helps a little bit. It's not that difficult. It takes a bit of time, but your uh, but your clients would be impressed if you send them something like this with your pricing on it, or just a basic overview of uh, of your services, or some of the photos that you've taken for them at um, at a function or whatnot. So I hope this helped a little bit. You can visit our website www.bataki.co.za or you can send me an email at uh, ludewijk at pataki.co.za. Nice to see you again. Cheers.